Holy smokes everyone, in this video we're going to be going over the anchor on CNBC, she's gone and made a big, big mistake. The video that I was talking about yesterday, about all the naked short selling, about how your stocks don't really exist, how they're not really real, how brokerages, they're taking your stocks or they're taking your money, you invest in their brokerages and then they're using that uh, to leverage, to lend out that stock, that one stock multiple times to multiple different hedge funds and they are doing something that most people thought was a myth, was an urban legend, naked shorting. And naked shorting, just pretty much to put it simple, is shorting shares that don't exist. Or for example, with GME, their short position or there was um, 140% of the shares outstanding were short. So there are more shorts than shares in existence. That shouldn't happen. And naked shorting is illegal. But listen to this clip of this uh, news anchor on CNBC talking with this guy about naked shorting. And then she's like, oh man, I'm done. There's a lot of people, there are a lot of short sellers out there that have been borrowing stock they didn't have. In other words, yes, I think there are dynamics shorts, where yeah. retail investors can get caught but it's, it's, it's really a, a dynamic where I think this is going after bad companies. So as you can see there, look at her face. She's like, holy moly, I just made a big, big mistake. You can hear her say, naked shorting, yeah. And then she instantly regrets her decision. And in this video, I'm gonna be saying something absolutely crazy, something you probably wouldn't expect coming from me. I'm gonna be putting money into GME GameStop on Monday and AMC on Monday. Now, this is not for the reasons that you may think. Now, just to be clear, this is not financial advice and this is not me recommending you to put your money in AMC and GME as an investment. But the reason, the personal reason why I'm gonna be putting money into GME and AMC is for this specific reason. Look at this hedge fund guy. It's kind of obvious people can not only see the emotion on your face, but hear it in your voice when you talk about this, Lee, why? I care, that's it. As you can see, this big hedge fund guy's like, because I care. These big hedge funds, they're completely manipulating the system. And what happened is in the 60s, everything was done by paper and everyone owned their stocks. But in 1973, when the Depository Trust Company, the DTC was created, they took hold of all the real shares, and now there's just really contractual benefit rights. You don't really own the shares. The DTC actually owns the shares, and they have a legal entity called Seed & Co, which has a master certificate, if you will, of that share. So really, uh, investors now, they just have like a digital IOU or a contractual right, or you're just a beneficiary uh, of that stock, but you don't have full ownership of it, like I said, DTC does. Now getting back to the reason why I'm gonna be putting money, and that's a key word I'm saying, putting money into GameStop and AMC, it's not an investment, it's not even a speculative bet. And I'm seeing so many people in the comment sections, which is quite alarming. I can see people saying, look, I've put everything I've got, as soon as I get paid, I'm putting more money into AMC and GME. Um, and you know, they're putting their life savings in a hope to turn that 10K into a mill. And you know, I hear the comments saying, oh, I can't wait to you know, buy a house or be a millionaire. And look, I really hope you do achieve all your goals and all your best wishes. I hope, you know, it would be awesome if AMC went to 100K, but it's very, very unlikely. The market cap would literally have to go to hundreds of trillions for AMC stock to go to 100,000. It's not gonna happen, people. Most likely, where there's gonna be a short squeeze and then once the hype is done, it'll go away. But again, going back to the reason why I personally am gonna be putting money in, not investing, not speculating, but this is kind of like a fee, a fee I'm willing to pay to see that clip that I showed you earlier, that hedge fund, that big billionaire crying, and it's a fee I'm willing to pay to expose the hedge funds and to expose how corrupt this financial system is. And now people are starting to wake up. It's now starting to get out there a bit more mainstream, especially in the investing community. People are starting to get more aware of how uh, manipulated the financial system is. 
what the hedge funds are doing with these naked shortings and it's a beautiful thing and it's something that I've been trying to bring to light. Now again, I'm not gonna be going, you know, putting 100% of my money into GameStop and GME, 50% of my portfolio. I'll just be putting one or 2% of my portfolio in there as a financial protest. And it's kind of like a financial rebellion, I guess you could say, against the establishment. Again, I'm not doing this as an investment to hope I, you know, put a thousand dollars in and it turns to 100,000. I'm putting it in, expecting that to go all the way down, you know, fall 90%. I think the shares are around 40, 50 dollars at the moment. It could fall all the way back down to five dollars. I'm okay with that. Again, there's something bigger that's happening with this GameStop and AMC movement. You know, I first just looked at it. I thought, oh, this is just you know the meme stocks, meme investing. You know, haha, pretty funny. There's a bit of a bubble over here. But the more and more research I've been doing about how corrupt the financial system is and exactly what the hedge funds are doing with their short selling. And what you have to know is that what the shorts try to do is, they don't just try to make the share price go down. What they do is they create more shares and they lend out more shares to try to make the company go bankrupt. And do you know why they want the company to go bankrupt? Because then they don't have to cover their short positions. Once the company goes bankrupt, boom, that's it. They've made their money gone. So these people, these parasites are making money by making other businesses go bankrupt. And that's just not right. Whether you believe in these big billionaire corporations or whatever, I don't think that's right to do. So what I'm doing, just again, I'm doing my part, uh, paying my dues, paying my fee. I'm putting my money where my mouth is because I'm sick to death of the corruption that's going on out there. So I'm gonna be joining the Ape community and remember what they say, apes alone, weak, apes together, strong. Now I know you may be thinking, whoa, 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 whoa. Michael Invest, you're the bear. You're not just the bear, you're Lord Bear. I've even been called sexiest bear alive. So why are you doing this investing in meme stocks? Again, just to reiterate, drive it home, this is not an investment. This is a fee I'm willing to pay, just like I'd go to pay a lawyer to try to sue the financial system or try to pay a fee to expose the financial system for what they're doing. So everyone, what do you think about this movement, this crazy, crazy movement that's going on with GameStop, with AMC? Do you think I'm an idiot for putting my money in? Hey, I may well be an idiot, but it's money that I'm willing to lose. Let me know down below. Now for all my loyal viewers and subscribers still watching, you're awesome. If you haven't already, please tap that like and subscribe button. I'll keep you up to date on the latest that's happening in the investing community, global finance news, the stock market, housing market, and cryptocurrencies. If you're bored, I'm gonna put up some of my other videos here. I'll see you all there.